okay so here so we want to give this unit of measurement of standard values over here so we are given some standard values right here the default values and if you have a hr module you can be able to assign to hr module directly so it will work with hr module also okay so only if you have okay so otherwise you want to give the parameters here okay what are the information you are going to cover so that parameters you want to give for an example the setup time okay so how you want to capture the setup time okay maybe you can see okay all the unit of measurements you will be getting over here okay what are the maximum possibilities of using unit of measurements you will be getting that so with that you can able to select that maybe you can go with hours or minutes or uh, seconds like that okay yes so we will suggest to go with hours okay or, or minutes okay suggest for this one or minutes okay that will be better so don't go beyond that to go for the seconds or something okay it is very difficult to manage okay right so i'm giving a hours here okay for other things also for all other things also we can just maintain the hours over here so that will be perfect so what we can able to do is so whenever we are going to give this parameters okay in the live production so we will be giving this all informations okay i given the information here okay yes but in this the machine and the labor only these two things i've just taken as a mandatory so setup i didn't take that okay so when you go for the live execution you will understand okay so what is the use of that okay right so now coming into the most important thing okay we are entering into the most important thing over here which is a capacity here okay if you get into the capacity here where we are going to be, actually this is a heart of this work center this is the heart of this work center because the work center is all about the capacity so we are going to give that capacity over here so based on that capacity only we are going to work on that right yeah so here you can give the capacity category here what type of capacity category you have so our capacity is a uh, machine right our capacity is a machine so let's go into the machine over here okay go for this capacity category okay so our capacity category is a machine okay right so that you can see for an example okay so let's go for this machine over here okay i'm just giving a capacity category as machine okay then what i'm going to give here is so we want to calculate this capacity okay whatever the capacity i have so how much i have utilized all these things i need to capture right at, at a certain point i need to capture that okay so that how i can capture this using this formula so you can see some formula options are there so you can use some formulas here okay maybe okay so i just want to uh, set up the processing formula for like some using the machine i am doing a processing so i can set some formula okay you can just go for it go for it okay you will be having some formulas over here okay from where this formula is coming how this configured i'll show you that okay so first i can set one formula maybe okay that you can see the measure the machine requirement for the machine okay i have separate one for the labor i have a separate one for the setup i have a separate one so all these things are separately we have this okay go for this machine requirement here okay all the special requirement all these things so i'll just give you this one here okay i'll give you this one here okay for this formula it is going to work so what is behind this formula okay what is this behind this formula we can able to see that okay before that okay we need to give some most important thing so the basic capacity information is okay we need to click on this capacity you can see the capacity header data right here you need to click on this okay then we can see this formula okay later on this one click on this capacity so it will take you to the heart okay this is the heart of the work center here here where the most important information you are going to give okay first thing okay we just selected the capacity category we just want to give a name for that so you can give a category okay so for an example hmc okay so uh, capacity okay capacity like that and here you can give the capacity responsible okay here it is not much mandatory because earlier in uh, in uh, very old days okay we will use a separate person for capacity he is a capacity planner he will do all the capacity planning and execution everything will be there okay but now nowadays we are not using anything we just give something okay so just give some normal name you can give that okay yeah okay next coming for the capacity base unit this is the main thing here so whatever the unit you are given in the basic data the same unit you want to give it here okay so we have used hours right give the same hours 
okay give the same hours okay so yes then only the capacity will be calculated will be matching okay if you want to use the factory calendar you can use the factory calendar also okay what is the factory calendar we have used so that also you can able to use it here so this work center will work for the factory calendar okay it will work for the factory calendar for an example which is a working day which is a holiday everything it will consider only it will produce this one okay so maybe if you want to assign so you can assign okay already we have created one factory calendar for india right yes okay so now what we are going to do okay now what we are going to do is so we are going to process this one okay we are going to give some information the first thing we are going to give the available capacity what is the capacity of this machine okay so for an example we go for the start time and end time and when we have a length of break means when the machine will start when the machine will end and what is the break in between okay for an example the machine will start by nine o'clock okay you can uh, see about office time so nine o'clock it will start okay so i'll just give nine over here so nine o'clock okay nine o'clock it will start morning nine o'clock it will start okay because that is the normal shift time right so normal shift time it is starting okay then coming for this end time okay and coming for this end time you can able to see okay maybe by uh, evening six okay maybe i'll just put 18 okay 18 for six o'clock so evening six o'clock okay it's going to close this one here and in between break okay maybe this break is not for the machine but maybe the labor okay the labor who is operating in this one he needs a break right he needs to go for a lunch break maybe we can take for 30 minutes okay then we can uh, have some tea breaks for the morning and evening of course we will take some 10 to 15 minutes okay you can take a uh, totally uh, one hour okay one hour we can take a, a length of break for a day okay one hour we are giving a break okay so including a lunch or whatever okay so we can put one hour over here okay yes so one hour I'm just giving yes. Okay. So you can see below you can see the operating time. Okay. And capacity it is not being calculated. It will automatically gets calculated. Okay. We can see that before that I'll give this two values. First thing is capacity utilization. Okay. You can see the capacity utilization here. Here you can go for the utilization. So how much you need to utilize here? This machine. So some company they will utilize 100%. 100% means okay from 9 to 6 continuously 9 to 6 we will be working so there is no okay no there is no already one hour break is there that is okay but the utilization will not be less so some customer what they will do is the total is uh, 7 hours or 8 hours it will work means they will give the load only for 5 or 6 hours then they will stop the machine because to have a long life but some company they will utilize fully okay how you want you can put okay maybe i'm just putting 100 percent maybe if you want 90 uh, percent or 80 percent you can put that okay so now the most important thing here is the number of individual capacity here we are going to have the number of individual capacities over here okay so what is this number of individual capacity here is very simple for an example so how many machine you are going to use in this work center so maybe one machine or multiple machine for an example, I'm just giving, I'm using two machines. So in this criteria, I'm going to use two machines here. Okay, two machines I'm going to use here. Okay, two machines I'm going to use. So now you can see how this uh, operating time and capacity is calculating. We can see, just give an enter. Okay, just give an enter. Yes, now you can see. Okay, so the total operating time is eight hours. The total operating time is eight hours. And you can see the capacity of this machine okay is 16 hours how it is coming as 16 hours okay so okay so because it's very simple because so you are given the total individual capacity as two so two machine is going to run in the same work center okay two machine is going to run in the same work center here you are going to uh, combine this two machine into one work center so two machines running so the operating time is eight hours okay eight hours is normal hours nine to six one hour is break so eight hours okay but the capacity is 16 hours why because two machine is there so two machine is there so we have the capacity of two machines so that's why it is saying 16 hours of work we can do okay that is what it's showing like that. okay and also you have some more options like this you can see relevant for finite scheduling so if you activate this okay if any overloading or something happens also it will automatically schedule that 
it will automatically schedule on the next day on all those things and also you have a overload percentage also if it is overloaded okay the capacity is full and all those so you can give some okay additional percentage for an example 10 percentage or 20 percent additionally you can able to use till that percentage it's like a tolerance okay right so this this is the main thing okay this is the main thing over here using this only actually the system will work okay yes now come back again okay? now come back here so we will go through the formula okay this thing is fine okay we are getting this one okay we, we can go through the formula and we can come back here because we need to see the shifts and intervals also we can go back here okay and click on this formula and you can see the formula you can see display formula you can see this is the formula over here you can see the machine okay into the operation quantity divided by base quantity this is the formula behind this formula key this is the formula over here okay this is the formula over here okay you have the key over so this is the formula behind this right so here you can able to see this okay behind this only the formula is available right yes okay now how this formula has been generated okay if you want to create a new formula also how we can able to do okay let's go to the configuration and we can see this okay go back to the configuration part okay and close this one okay so yes so here we have done with this one so we need to go for the okay uh, routing data okay so here we have the all the things okay we have seen the wage group and all these things right so if you want to add something you can add with the help of hr okay so because if they want to give like a wages or any other condition they want to give so they can give okay so they can give according to that so they can able to process that okay but we are going for the capacity planning so here where we have this one okay so you can see this one okay work center uh, formula here okay if you go to the work center formula and there you can see okay the formula parameters for the work center here okay and you can see the formulas for work center okay if you just get into this and whatever we have seen over there it is available what we have given here I think we have given some uh, machine requirement right this is what I given I think so yes 006 yes you can see this one okay if you double click on this okay if you double click on this you can see the formula but there you can see the text here you are seeing the actual formula because it's a configuration okay so here you are getting the actual formula here yes you are getting the actual formula and here you can able to see the formula behind this this is the actual formula we are getting behind this over here right so here you can able to see the formula so sap underscore 2 and into sap underscore 0 9 divided by 0 8 so 0 2 into 0 9 divided by 0 8 this is the formula so this formula is coming from the parameter see you can be able to create a very big formula also here three lines we have an option you can create that now what is behind this two and nine and eight we can see so you will understand what is behind that go back and you can see the formula parameters you can go to the formula parameter and there you can see okay so first thing what is that so first thing is zero two so this is zero two and this is 08 and this is 09 okay using this three only the formula has been created so machine okay mission time into operation quantity okay mission time into operation quantity divided by base quantity okay this is the formula okay so if you have any confusion on the formula all these things also you can discuss with the finance <coughs> okay you can discuss with the finance why because okay the finance is going to get the final output because the cost is the final output so they are going to be the beneficiary okay so on that case whatever they need how we need to capture all this thing you can able to discuss with them and you can able to do this one that will be so easy so that will be so easy so you will not miss anything over here okay you will not miss anything over here okay it will be perfectly it will be matched here okay right yes perfectly it will be matched okay so like that we can able to go for it okay and also if you see into the formula okay you can see this double click on that you can see again the same thing what we done for the standard value key right the same parameter kind of thing we are doing here also the same parameter kind of thing okay we are doing here also so there is no difference at all okay yes
so if you want to create a new formula and all these things also you can go through this one okay you can go through this and if anything is not there you can create your own thing also okay it is perfectly fine okay right yeah so now this particular setup you can able to assign over here and based on that it can be worked on that okay and you can see the available capacity okay if you go for the available capacity here where we are going to have the shift sequence and all these things okay that we can able to see over there okay here there is a standard setting over here so now we can go back to this okay and we can find this i'll go back into the capacity again okay go to the capacity again and there you have an option okay there you have an option over here okay which is the interval and shift for an example we are speaking about only 8 hours now so what about the intervals okay for an example shifts for an example if a company is having a double shift or triple shift what can be done so how we can able to plan this work center mostly we will be using this information right so double shift or triple shift okay how we want to go we can able to go for it okay how you want you can able to go for it here so for an example okay so now i want to put double shift okay yes go for this shifting option and there you can see okay only one shift is available now so only one category one setup is available now now what we need to do is so go for the interval here okay just click on the interval okay and you can put some interval here from valid date and to so how much days you want to plan you can plan for the short days or you can plan for the long days also maybe i'm just planning for one week okay this week how the shift should be planned i am a production planner so i am planning my production how this week should be there okay so maybe i'm just giving that okay so what is the production thing i'm just giving like this and i'm giving something okay so maybe i'm just giving okay i'm giving like that and given enter you can see given enter so automatically okay given enter yes automatically you can see the seven days of plan came here you can see the seven days of plan from monday to sunday okay you have seven days of plan you can came here automatically it came here you can see this one okay and you can see automatically all the values get splitted okay whatever we have set up is done so based on that value you got this automatically okay now you can able to do this one okay this is actually the plan okay this is actually the uh, okay travel okay how you want to plan over here now why i just split it like this in the sense for an example i'm not going to give the shift for all the days maybe one or two days okay maybe the load will be very high so i need to give a double shift maybe for an example for my tuesday okay for tuesday i just want to give a double shift maybe the load will be very high so i'll select this tuesday and i'll insert the shift here you can see i can insert the shift see you can see this under tuesday i got a shift under tuesday i got one more shift here you can see nine to six is a shift like that i can put some time here so i can put some time maybe after seven okay seven to uh, night twelve okay or seven to morning four we are having one more shift here okay yes one more shift here okay so you want to increase the capacity or else you can utilize the capacity this 16 hours of capacity you can utilize eight hours here and eight hours here like that same like if for the friday okay for the friday also i need a double shift so i can select this and i can insert a shift over here so it will be fine so like that i can able to plan accordingly in the work center itself okay so here itself if i plan it properly okay so what will happen is so i can able to do this one okay this i just done only for the short time if you do for the long time for six months or eight months in, in this one so your work is done almost your work is done almost okay you can able to capture accordingly and do this one okay yes right yes this is how we will be working on this one so the intervals and capacities and all these things can be done over here right yes now you can come back okay go back here okay so now we have okay two more things over here okay so one is the scheduling here and we are going to see the scheduling if you click on the scheduling part okay this is not much important over here because the scheduling is now happening automatically the scheduling is automatic now so we don't want to worry about anything automatically it will be captured based on that okay now you just want to update only the capacity category okay so we're just activating the scheduling 
so you can just put okay machine as a scheduling part that's it okay you don't need to do anything on this one so otherwise all the options okay everything will be the same thing you can see everything will be same thing for the scheduling here so we don't want to give any information here okay so the main information over here is what we need to give is this costing tab you can see there is a costing tab over here click on the costing tab so here where we are going to give the most important information here so what actually it will do is okay i'll just show you a small diagram here okay just for making it clear okay so what it will actually does is for an example okay so we have a work center okay that work center will have a cost center into it okay we have a cost center into it and what it will do is okay there is a finance over here okay so in this particular case what it will do is uh, from this work center it will capture the workload okay what are the workload we have it will capture all the workload and that workload okay it will give it to the finance automatically that workload it will convert into a cost and it will go to the finance okay because the cost center okay here where the cost is being captured okay here where the cost is been taken care so the from work center what all the workload we are capturing that workload into this particular cost it will be taken care for an example i am working for 3 hours so 3 hours into okay for an example so what is the cost per hour cost okay that per hour cost will be updated over here so 3 hours into 100 rupees for an example 100 rupees is the per hour cost in the sense so automatically i will get 300 rupees this 300 rupees will goes to the finance in the real time so that is what this cost center is doing here okay that cost center we have updated here itself we have a provision for putting this cost center here itself you can see this you have a provision here itself you can see the provision here okay yes and you can put the cost center here okay who will give this cost center over here the cost center will be given by okay so the cost center will be given by so the controlling department okay so here you can able to put the cost center over here so in this cost center for an example so what you can able to put is for an example i'll just put some cost center over here so okay some cost center okay some cost center i can put it over here okay yes okay then you have to put the activity type so what is this activity type is i told you right the per hour cost the per hour cost okay here the per hour cost right we are putting the per hour cost that per hour cost is updating over here so the per hour cost will be updated over here okay so that is what we are going to have the per hour cost okay so here i can activate this one okay if you have anything you can update here so any activity for machine no we don't have anything here okay only the labor we have here so for only for the labor i can update okay because this all things will be done by the finance so i'll go for the labor okay yes same thing here also i'll update the same labor because we don't have anything here and you can give the activity unit okay what is the activity unit you have so i'll give hours and i'll give hours over here and enter okay and okay so you can able to see you need to give the formula for here what is the formula you are given for that particular setup okay in the previous cat cat capacity category the same formula you need to give okay 006 we have given okay and enter here also i'll just repeat the same 006 because whatever we have used here so based on that only we will get the activation over here okay so based on that only it will work okay so based on that only it will work here. okay so now this is a setup here okay using this setup only you are going to do this <laughs> particular process here okay right so now you can save this one okay you can save this particular case here, okay just save this one so your work center is ready okay so your work center is ready now okay so you don't have any problem now so your work center is ready okay so now if you want to change anything or do something here so again you can go to okay cr02 okay and you can able to change anything you want okay whatever things you want you can able to change it but certain things you cannot change for an example this work center codification work center category like that certain things you cannot change it here but otherwise other all things you can change it any time that's not a problem here so you can able to go with this Okay. Yes. 
okay so i hope you will be getting the clear idea over here yes okay you can able to see over here also and also you have some reports also okay regarding the work center if you want to have reports you have some reports also here so go to the logistics okay and go to the production here okay go for the production and there you have an option okay called as okay so uh, okay master data okay go for the work center okay and there you can see for the reporting here okay here you can see some reports where you can see the complete work center information list okay and uh, work center list and okay what are the work center capacities okay all these things you can able to get this one here okay so these all the things okay regularly we are using this particular case here so with that it will be worked over here okay and also you have a various list also so in which particular uh, routing in which particular production this particular work center is working so or being placed everything you can able to find that because you don't need to go and find each and everything over here okay you can use this various list and what you can do is you can find out what are the things okay what are the things where this particular things are available and all the setups we can able to find it very easily right yes so this is how it will be working on so based on that it will be done right yes yes i hope you will be getting a clear idea here yes okay so i hope it is fine okay yes